hey guys, let's talk torsion bars for a minute. Now specifically, we're gonna get into the process of re-indexing your torsion bars. But before you get into that process, you really need to understand what they are. A torsion bar is a spring. Now this is just a solid rod, and it might be kind of confusing to think of this as a spring. Now, most people think of a spring as a helix or a coil. You push on it and compress it, or you pull on it and you stretch it out. Now if you go back to you know, your high school physics class, you, know, you get the equation F equals KX, right? So force is equal to the stiffness of the spring times the amount that it is stretched or compressed. And that gives you your reaction force from the springs. Well, a torsion bar is just a twisting version of a spring. Instead of linear dimensions like, say, inches and the distance that's compressed and a force, you get a resultant torque that it applies and you get a degree of twist. So you might think this is a solid bar, how does it get to twist? One way you can kind of visualize this is with some electrical conduit. This is just split loom, it's got a straight split down it. Now if you hold the conduit straight, that split is in a straight line, but as you twist it, it spirals around. So you're probably not going to be able to see it very well on the camera because it's black on black. But if you had an imaginary line drawn on your torsion bar, once it's supporting the weight of say a quarter of your vehicle, you would see that straight line be twisting. And that would be twisting a certain number of degrees based on the stiffness of the material and the weight of the vehicle that's on it. So what's the important thing with this? Well, when you're adjusting your torsion bars to get more lift height out of your Nissan Xterra, you are not tightening your torsion bars. The weight on the spring is going to be the same. That means that the angle of deflection is going to be the same and the internal twisting is going to be the same. When you adjust the torsion bar at the adjuster lever, say you twist it three degrees on the adjusting end, that yields three degrees of twist at the lower control arm, which gives you more lift height. So the internal twist of the bar is the same. You are not tightening the torsion bar, you are not increasing the stiffness, and you are not going to damage the torsion bar by adjusting it to a higher lift. If you go back to my other videos on upper control arms, you'll remember that the bump stop gap at the upper control arm geometrically defines your lift. That geometrically defines the angle of your control arms, and that defines when you have to stop lifting your vehicle before you get into you know, steering angles that are too severe. All right, so what is re-indexing? Re-indexing is simply taking the torsion bar out of one of the splined anchors. You're gonna remove it, rotate it over one or two degrees and reinsert it, and then you're gonna reinstall it to your desired lift height. Now, all of a sudden, you've changed that static position of where that adjuster lever is when you start the lift. So re-indexing your torsion bars is used for two specific scenarios. One is if your bump stop gap is overly large, you have room at the bump stop to adjust to a higher lift height, but your adjuster lever is bottomed out inside the frame. By removing it from one of the spline anchors, rotating it away from that frame and reinstalling it, when you get it back to the initial height that you adjusted to, you're gonna have more room behind that adjuster lever. The other scenario where you might need to do this is if you go ahead and get to your desired lift height, your bump stop gap is maxed out, you can't lift any higher, but your adjuster lever is hanging down beneath the frame rail. At your final ride height, you want that adjuster lever tucked inside that frame rail because you want it to have protection from rocks or tree stumps or anything else that you might run into on the trail. Go ahead and get familiar with the torsion bars. These are a steel bar that run underneath the frame and you can see a splined anchor right here. So if you follow the torsion bar all the way back, right around the rear of the front doors, you'll see this cross member here. But looking at this adjuster bolt, if you're laying on your back looking up, you know, it's just lefty loosey righty tighty. So as you turn it clockwise to tighten the bolt, the bolt head will go upwards relative to the ground and that will twist the entire torsion bar. That will translate into a counterclockwise rotation at this anchor, which in turn will point your lower control arm down and that will give you your lift height. The first step is to place a jack underneath this cross member and right around the lower control arm mount. You don't want to actually raise the vehicle you just want to barely touch it so that as you relieve tension and pressure off the torsion bar, the jack is now holding the weight of the vehicle instead of the torsion bar. Using a paint pen or an oil-based Sharpie marker, mark the orientation of the torsion bar spline to the anchor on the lower control arm. That'll give you a reference point so you know where it was originally installed. Go to the adjuster bolt and loosen up the upper jam nut on top of the subframe or the cross member here. Laying on your back and looking up at the adjuster bolt head, go ahead and start loosening it. 
So this camera angle is from the front of the vehicle looking backwards. As you loosen this bolt and it starts to drop down outside of the cross member, go ahead and remove the hardware. Now that you have the hardware removed, you want to take a hammer and hit the adjuster lever straight backwards towards the rear of the vehicle. If you're good, a few swift hits with the hammer will drop this end of the torsion bar straight out of the anchor. You may need to use some PB blaster or other penetrating fluid to make it a little bit easier. So if my adjuster lever was originally bottoming out in the back side of the frame here, I want to reinstall the torsion bar so the adjuster lever at its starting position is now further outboard of the vehicle. That gives the bolt more turns of the threads before you will bottom out. If you rotate your torsion bar too far, you'll be at your maximum ride height as defined by your bump stop, but your adjuster lever will still be hanging down outside of the frame rail. If you look at my subframe right here, you'll see there's a couple dents and gashes from rocks on the trail. So it's a good thing to make sure that you have your torsion bar anchors adjusted properly and they are protected inside this frame rail. You don't want to lose a torsion bar on the trail. Once you readjust your torsion bar, you can lower the jack on the front end and check your ride height. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you checking out the channel. I hope you learned something about the torsion bars and how to get your lift height out of your upper control arms. Feel free to comment below if you have other questions or any other suggestions for future videos.